Hey there. Well, today we're going to be talking about gift bags. These are the kind that you just go to the dollar store, you get in a three pack, three for a dollar. And instead of spending that extra to get a fancy one, you're going to make your own. So this one, I just took my Season Like Christmas stamp set, stamped my tree. The first one was with Garden Green. And then the second, remember this is a three layer stamp. So this layer was Garden Green. This layer was Garden Green stamped off on paper once and then on here to be a little bit lighter. And the top layer was done with my Whisper White to add my snowflakes. Then I took the sentiment and that is done in basic black. So there's one idea. The one I'm gonna do with you right now is using the same red bag. I'm gonna take these apart because I only need to do one at a time, but you could easily do all of them and mass produce them if you wanted to. I'm going to use the snowflake sentiments. And we're going to do some heat embossing. So I need my Versamark, my embossing buddy. You're going to see why you need this blank block in a minute. My white embossing powder, my heat tool, and three stamps. I'm going to use the two different snowflakes and the big season's greetings. Okay? All right. So the first problem when you come to one of these bags is if I just stamp on top of it, I'm likely to have a bumpy surface and it's just not gonna work out right. So I'm gonna take my glass block and I'm gonna put it down inside the bag. So now I have a nice flat surface to work with. Now, when you first look at this and you think, well, okay, that's all right, but it's a little tempting that I might come off the edge with this. So I'm gonna take this and turn it this way in the bag open it up make sure that I'm only getting the top layer I feel like I'm rummaging in a bag of chips here so I'm only getting the top layer I need to get these other layers out of there so I'm going to hold them out a little to make sure they're not in my way all right nice flat surface okie doke now I'm moving my box back So it just takes a second to just kind of get it in place. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It just has to be where you're going to stamp. All right. Wipe you off with the embossing buddy and then extra powder. And my Versamark. Remember, Versamark is a clear watermark ink. So you're not really going to see anything happening. Make sure that you have it going the right way. And put it on down and stamp. Okay, I really can't see much, but it's there, see? Then I'm gonna grab my snowflakes and I'm gonna make sure that my block is where I'm gonna put my snowflakes. So I might have to slide that up a little. And I'm gonna put a snowflake in the middle. And I'm probably going to do one around this side. And then I'm going to grab my other snowflake stamp. And I want it on this side over here, moving my block, making sure I'm not going to stamp on top of that thing where the handle is. Okay. All my stamping is done. First, the mark goes back on. Take out my block. And I'm going to take my white, my whisper white. And it's not whisper white. Well, it sort of is. It is the white stamp emboss. It's not whisper white, it's just powder white. And I'm going to sprinkle you on. Go good and heavy. Okay. You're thinking, well, that's going to get expensive. No, not really. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake off the excess and I'm going to put it down back in the bottle. Yeah. So 
So we really didn't lose a lot. Now, I want to show you, and I'm really glad this happened. If it looks smeary like that, then that's not going to work well. So I need to get the excess off. I actually touched that with my thumb. So there's not a whole lot I can do to fix that. I'm either going to have to decide, well, no, it's going to look like it's snowing, and I'm going to live with it, or I'm going to start again. Remember, I got three bags for a dollar. I'm going to live with it today. This is from the over stamp. This is from the edge right here, and I don't want that. So I'm going to come in here with a little tiny brush, and I'm just going to get rid of that. And a little foof. And a little bit more. I'm just going to get rid of this excess, and I'm going to be okay when I actually go to do it. Right? So the little tiny paintbrush can save you from a lot of boo-boos. I can't really do much with that up here. That's my thumb. I can try to kind of clean it up a little. Um, I truthfully don't usually stick my thumb in it, but I always do when I'm doing it on camera. All right, I'm good. I'm going to live with the snow. I might put my tag there or a ribbon to cover it up, and I'm going to bring my heat embossing in. I'm going to see what I want to get rid of this one. Okay, and here we go. And you just kind of hold your heat gun until it starts to turn. There it goes. And I promise if you take your time, you won't have the boo boos that I'm having. Practice with this on a piece of cardstock before you get going. Practice makes perfect in heat embossing. And now my boo-boo is kind of a boo-boo and I'm not a real big fan of it up there. So what I can do, since I don't want to ditch the bag, first of all, I could give it to a friend who's not going to yell at me, but I could make myself a little card and just put it on the top and cover that up. But in the meantime, we are good. Let's look at the gold. Can you see? I guess you can't really see the dimension. It's just so cool. I love embossed. I love how cool it looks. All right. So there are our bags. Easy peasy. I got two more to go. So happy stamping. And I'll see you soon. Bye.